How do you decide on a contractor? The solar contractor you choose should meet the minimum requirements of the state of California. They should be licensed, bonded, and insured. You can check with the California State Licensing Board on any contractor's current record. Here's how. Go to Google and search for CSLB. Click on Check a License in the drop-down options. That will take you to the Check a License page of the California State Licensing Board website. It's very easy to check up on a contractor, either by the contractor license number if you have it, or by their business name. Personnel name lets you know who owns the company and who owns the contractor's license. HIS stands for Home Improvement Salesperson. In California, you must pass an FBI background check in order to receive the HIS license. Be sure to ask your salesperson for their HIS license. If you don't have their number, you can check by simply using their name. It's important to know who you're doing business with. Check that both the company and the salesperson are properly licensed. Through the CSLB website, you can check on a company's workers' comp, their bond, and most importantly, citations for being out of compliance for any number of violations. Five-star Yelp reviews may be great for picking a restaurant, but when it comes to choosing a solar contractor, here's what you need to know. How long has the company you're considering been installing solar? And how many installations have they completed? What do their installations look like? Do they look like this? Or do they look like this? Ask to see some of their installations near your home. If you are reading review sites like Yelp and Google, look for negative reviews and see how the company responded to issues when things went wrong. This is one of the most important factors because if something does go wrong, how the contractor handles the situation speaks to their customer service style or lack thereof. It's one of the most common complaints in solar, the lack of communication, especially when problems arise. So look for how issues were handled. While positive reviews are great, negative reviews are more revealing. Subcontractors are prevalent in the industry and not just for roofing and electrical but for solar installation themselves. Find out if any part of the installation will be subcontracted out, and if so, what will they be responsible for? Type their name into the CSLB website and find out their current record. Some installers offer to run the conduit under your roof in the attic. Of course, if you don't have an attic, then this option would not be available to you. Don't pick an installer because of how fast they promise installation. You're gonna live with this installation for the next 25 plus years. You should not be focused on how fast it will be installed. Instead, your attention should be on the quality of the installation itself.